everybody so in a previous video uh, I have shown how to use an embed uh, list into your teams I'd like to uh, introduce you with another possible integration which is Trello and which is in my opinion uh, one of the best uh, tool to help your student manage long projects um, so as usual, we go on the little plus button on the top bar over here and then we just search for Trello, which should be hidden somewhere over here. Did I miss it? Well, I, oh, there it is. Um, I have a Trello account already, and so it is already logged in. Uh, if you do not have a Trello account, you can create it directly from uh, the window that is going to open there using your school uh, email. It is a very uh, easy process. Um, if you do have an account, it will show you the latest bo uh, the boards that you have on your account so that you can pick from it. Um, and so I'm just going to take this one here for the sake of the uh, example. And once you have done that, uh, it will show directly into your Teams window um, and it is like a classical Trello for those of you who have been uh, using it before. Uh, it's exactly what your student would see on the web-based version of it. Uh, but then the, the, the interest is that it is there, uh, centralized into one single platform and they don't have to go uh, they don't have to go uh, in uh, another website. Uh, before I explain exactly how that works, uh, your students, if they want to access it, uh, will need to have an account created with Trello. Uh, they should be able to do that with their school email following the same process as you from within Teams, so they don't need to uh, leave it. Uh, why do I like it uh, so much is because first it's completely flexible. My columns here, I can move them around without any problem and the cards that are showing in my columns, I can move them around without any problem. Um, it is really drop and drag. Um, it is a nice way for long projects to present the information visually. Um, and to, well, use maybe color codes. So what I'm doing here is that in a given project, if we haven't started working on it, it is uh, green, then it turns yellow uh, when we are working on it, and red is when we should be finished with it. Um, so it's a nice way for me to show students where they should be at. This is just an example of my personal practice. Uh, I'm sure that color code could be uh, quite useful in pacing your students uh, in your own subject. Then you have inside of it, you have the opportunity for you to add details if, uh, if you would like. Uh, and it will give students the opportunity to ask questions over there if uh, you feel it is relevant. Um, so obviously, uh, some of you would object that we already have uh, managed back and that there is no reason to have another tool. Um, I do really find it uh, useful because it is, uh, provide the, uh, it is providing the opportunity uh, to students who have more difficulties uh, with time organization and with um, uh, well, written language to have something that is more visual, uh, visual, more easily accessible than uh, what they would find on ManageBack. Now, ManageBack is the place where we record the tasks. Uh, this is our curriculum area and this is not meant to replace it. Um, there are plenty of other uh, applications of Trello and if you find a different application that you would like to share with uh, our colleagues, please use the IT uh, channel on the USG secondary teams to do that. 
um, and I'm sure that it will be useful to somebody. Thank you very much.